Hi, my name is Wouter Emery and I'm the founder of Airshaper. For this series of videos, we interviewed NASA on their upcoming electric X-57 Maxwell aircraft. The X-57 is the latest in a series of experimental aircraft called the X-Planes. You may remember the X-15, the hypersonic airplane. Now the X-57 promises to make aviation cleaner, quieter and more sustainable by tapping into the benefits of electric propulsion. We interviewed Sean Clark, the principal investigator at Armstrong, who's looking after the complete electrical system, including batteries, inverters and so on. And we also spoke to Nick Borer, who is the deputy principal investigator and performance and sizing lead at Langley. He looks into the aircraft configuration and into the design and performance analysis. Enjoy the interview. What's the big promise or the big uh, benefit of electric aviation? Electric powertrains in general are exceptionally efficient when compared to, say, a combustion yeah. power. So if you're looking at the stored energy on board the airplane towards useful work on the airplane, um, already electric is very efficient. Um, but there's other advantages, uh, the power to weight ratio and then how that efficiency scales with size are very different than what you might have uh, with, a, with a traditional combustion power plant. Uh, so what we've done is made is use the good parts of electric propulsion that kind of scale free efficiency and high power to weight ratio um, to uh, to to try to find ways to make the airplane aerodynamically more efficient. Um, an age old trade off, particularly for smaller airplanes, which is it looks like tends to have more benefits of electric propulsion, um, is uh, is the size of the wing. Uh, you want to be able to take off and land uh, fairly slow, so that way you can get in and out of smaller runways for a lot of smaller airplanes. Um, but, um, you know, if you go to the Reno Air Races, you see that the first thing that the Reno Air Racers do is, is they cut off half of the wing, because that same big wing that helps you land, uh, uh, fly slow, also um, adds a lot of drag when you're flying at high speed. So we're, we're kind of trying to do both, at least with a, with a portion of our distributed propulsion system, where um, we're trying to cheat. Uh, we, we blow air over the wing um, at low speeds with our 12 high lift propellers. Uh, so the wing thinks it's going faster than it actually is. Um, and then when we don't need them at high speed, we turn them off. So we get to cruise more efficiently at high speeds, but we still keep that low speed capability. And it's worth it to do this because those, uh, that power to weight ratio is so good. Each one of those high lift pounds weighs something like 15 pounds or less. So it actually, uh, by, we make our airplane more efficient at higher speeds, which adds more range than if we were to say add 15 pounds of batteries. What's exciting for me about electric motors is that they're, they're lightweight and uh, lower complexity than the uh, fuel burning engines they're replacing so you, you can use them in different ways than you could have used the fuel burning engines on x57 we've got a wing designed to take advantage of uh, a higher airflow at low speeds because we can we can blow the wing with electric motors driving propellers we can also put them out at the wingtip which is an interesting place to put a motor because you can yeah. interact with the the wingtip vortex in a way that um, would be a lot more risky with a, a fuel burning engine with pistons and gaskets and valves and things that can fail. Uh, the interesting thing is, is if you compare the power off lift to drag ratio of the stock airplane, the Technum P2006T, and, and the peak power off lift to drag ratio of our airplane, they're almost exactly the same. It's just that ours occurs about 25 knots faster. So what you do by, by, by increasing the wing loading, by basically making the wing um, um, uh, uh, smaller as we have, is we have shifted where that aircraft is more efficient. So we're more efficient at higher speeds. Um, and that's, that's one of the key points here. It's not so much just about re reducing the drag. It's, it's, where, it's where that reduced drag occurs. So that was it for our first videos in the series on the NASA X-57 electric aircraft. I really hope you liked it. If you did, please drop your comments or questions below the video. And stay tuned, because in the next one, we will dive into the details of the propellers that they are using on this plane and how they compare to other aircraft. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye bye.